Hello, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Cindy at Cozy Mountain Cottage, and today's video is the third one in the Kitchen Reno series, painting these cabinets green. I am so excited. I've been doing this with Amy Howard at home, paints and waxes, and I am telling you what, guys, I love these products. So today is all about waxing. As you can see in the background, everything's painted green, and it's amazing, oh my gosh. So again, I used the color English Boxwood in the Amy Howard at Home One Step Paint. I cannot even believe how much I love this color and the coverage was awesome. I used literally one quart to the drop, one quart to finish this entire kitchen. Yes, it's very small, but still I was totally amazed. So anyhow, we're gonna get on with it. Today we're going to be waxing and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that using one of the doors right here. This is the color before it's been waxed. Ooh, there's some sun shining on it, okay? Um, this color is amazing, but you know what's even, well, equally as amazing is this wax. I'm going to be using Amy Howard at Home Mind Your Own Beeswax. This wax is awesome. I love so many things about this wax, one of them being that it's in a squeeze bottle. It's in a squeeze bottle. It squeezes out like, like butter. It goes on like butter. It makes waxing so easy. I really used to like not enjoy waxing and would sometimes not choose chalk paint just because of the waxing. Again, remember with Amy Howard One Step Paint, you do not have to seal it. You don't have to wax it if you don't want to. It, it doesn't require it. With just the paint only, it has such a beautiful soft finish that you could wash this finish and you're not gonna wash the paint off like most other chalk paints. You do not have to wax it. However, I'm choosing to wax this um, this time because it's in the kitchen, kitchen cabinets. And so I definitely want it to be very well protected. Okay, here we are ready to go. Again, this cabinet door has been painted with Amy Howard One Step Paint in the color English Boxwood. And that's all that's been done to it. It has two coats of paint on it. I absolutely love this color. Amy Howard One Step Paint does not need to be waxed or sealed. It's fine just like this. It has a beautiful, soft, smooth finish to it. Um, and it will not wash off when you try to wash it. A lot of other chalk-based paints, when you wash them, if they're not sealed in some way, You'll, you'll wipe the paint right off. That doesn't happen with the Amy Howard paint, so it doesn't need to be sealed. But again, because this is a kitchen cabinet, I've chosen to wax it um, because I want it to really be sealed and be durable for all the, you know, all the wear and tear that a kitchen gets. So um, my choice, again, is the Vintage Wood Mind Your Own Bees Wax by Amy Howard. I love this wax. It's absolutely amazing. It is very durable. It hardens to a, a beautiful satin patina, and I just absolutely love this wax, and it's so easy to use. So much different than having to apply wax with a brush. So I'm just using a uh, clean, white, lint-free cloth. This is a cut-up t-shirt. My husband runs out of t-shirts a lot because they disappear. It squeezes out beautifully, just like butter, and goes on so easy. Now you do wanna be mindful when you're applying the wax that you don't just put it all on in a glob. So I do try to, you know, just kind of, kind of put it on in little, little places here and then start working it in. And one thing that I'll admit I do have a little bit of trouble with is not putting too much on. And I'm learning that it, you don't need very much. I mean, one of these bottles will go a really long way, a really, really long way. So um, I do paint with a brush. I painted all of this with a brush. And, you know, even though the Amy Howard paint is self-leveling, which is wonderful, there might still be a few brush strokes, just enough to like give a little bit of a texture to the surface. So going in a circular motion really helps to get the wax down into any texture that there might be. But then I like to finish with a nice straight uh, motion, just just so that it it looks nice, I guess. I don't know, it's just me. You, you do you. Anyways, okay, so 
little bit more here on the cloth and we'll just keep going. This, this wax just goes on so easy, you guys. So easy, so smooth, so beautifully. I hope that you can see that. Um, I mean, it's already getting this beautiful sheen to it, but after we get the whole door coated, then we will, um, we're gonna let it, let it sit and dry for eh, 15 to 30 minutes. But you know what? One thing I love about, the, another thing I love about this, the longer it dries, the better. It's not one of those things where if you don't come back within a certain amount of time, you know, then you gotta start all over. No, it's not like that at all. You can come back in three days if you want to buff it after you've applied it this first time. So I love that about it. Um, I typically will start waxing and, you know, maybe finish another project or work on another project before I actually come back and do the buffing. Because quite frankly, what I've found to be true, the longer you wait to buff it, the better, the easier it buffs and the just the better the, the finish is, I guess. I don't know. I just, I don't see a problem with waiting. Although there have been projects where I've been in a hurry, I'm, I can be kind of hasty. And so I've, I've buffed it um, fairly soon after putting it on. So I just like to make sure by looking at the sheen, I don't see any dry spots. Make sure I've got everything covered really, really well. I, I tend to pay when I'm doing cabinet doors, here's where my handle is gonna go. So I know this is the top of my cabinet. Again, it's a kitchen, this door, happens to be the door that goes under the kitchen sink. Um, I'm gonna make sure that I've definitely got the whole top of this door really well covered in wax because I want it to be really well protected, you know, from water and stuff. This wax is amazing, you guys, it really is. So one of the beautiful things about this uh, Mind Your Own Beeswax is the fact that one and done, one coat, let this dry and then we'll come back and buff it and I will definitely come back and show you how I do that. Um, and then you're done. You don't have to come back in six months or a year or whatever and apply another coat like you do with a lot of other waxes. Um, this, this is one and done and it is so strong and so durable and I just absolutely love it. Now, I'm gonna show you really quick. It's kind of like, you know, the cooking shows where they're making a lasagna and they put it in the oven and they pull out one that's already done. Well, look at this. I happen to have a door that's already done. I already waxed this door. Look at this. Do you see that beautiful sheen? Oh my goodness. I love it so much. I love it so much. Um, and all that this wax does to the color is just warms it up. Now, if it's a really light color, let's say white or a very pastel color, you, you may notice a little bit of a, a warmth to it, you know, kind of that, that antique warmth, which, which is wonderful. Um, but for, for these nice darker colors like this, all it does is just enhance the color. It just enriches it, makes it beautiful. So we are gonna let this cabinet door dry for probably a, at least an hour um, while I work on painting, uh, waxing the other cabinet doors. And then I will be back to show you how I, how I buff it. Okay, we are back. The wax has dried for well over an hour and it is ready to be buffed. So again, I have just a clean white cloth. This is actually a cut up uh, t-shirt of my husband's. That's my favorite buffing cloths. And just gonna start buffing. And I hope that you can see the sheen that immediately starts taking place. Let me see if I can angle this for you. Oh my goodness, it just, it's just magical. This wax is just magical. I absolutely love this wax so much. So again, I buff in circular motions to really get it down in any texture that your surface may have. You know, circular motions where you can. Can't really do circular motions around the edges. Um, but just give it a good buffing. Now, I will tell you that I really like buffing with steel wool. I just think steel wool gives it an extra oomph and it kind of picks up where where a cloth might might leave off. So 
That is after I've buffed it with a cloth. Look at that. Look at that sheen. Isn't that so pretty? So I use the four aught four zeros, um, which is, as far as I know, the finest um, steel wool. And then I start buffing again. Now, when I'm using steel wool, I typically go with the grain or with, you know, whatever direction if there's no grain, just the direction that I want it to go. I don't, I don't want a chance making any, you know, circular little marks on it, but I just really feel like the steel wool just really bumps up the shine. It, I, I feel like it kind of picks up where the cloth leaves off. If the cloth didn't, you know, didn't work its magic, then the steel wool certainly will. Um, I don't know, it's just been, it's just been kind of a thing of mine for a long time that when I buff, I like to finish off with a really fine steel wool pad. So that's what I'm doing here. This is the last door of this project, you guys. I'm so excited to have this done. Get this door back on and then I can show you my kitchen. Uh, it's amazing what paint can do. Paint is just a magical creation. I love it so much. I think it's the best, it's the, the, the least expensive or the let's say the most affordable way to really transform a space. And I just feel so fortunate that I found Amy Howard when I did a few years back. I love her products. I use her products on a regular basis in my projects because they are just amazing. So there we go. The final door of our kitchen cabinet painting is done. I'm so excited. always so fun to do the very last step in a project. That's it. The last one. So excited. Okay, hang in there and I will show you the final reveal of the entire kitchen. So excited.